This is the Jamaica Information Service, the, the voice, voice of, of Jamaica. Jamaica. You're inside Jamaica Magazine. Encouraging the information flow, sharing the news and views you need to know. We are building an informed Jamaica every day. Listening, Listening to, to what, what you say. say. Hello and thanks for joining us for this Saturday's edition of Jamaica Magazine. I'm Andrea Chisholm. So, how is 2010 treating you so far? New Year, same old story? Or New Year and a new positive beginning? Hmm. Whatever your experience, just remember to count your blessings. This week on Jamaica Magazine, one youth group is trying to make a major difference in society. Don't worry about it, it's not such a brain buster. You'll figure it out later in the show. All that and more after this message. JIS Year in Review Monday, January 11 to Friday, January 29 Only on Jamaica Magazine much for staying with us. We kick things off with a look at the work of the Jamaica Fire Brigade as they continue to save lives and protect property. You'll also get to see the firefighters themselves in action. Real life drama. Pain. Agony. Shock. It can be prevented, but it begins with you. Fire safety is not a matter for laughs. Just consider these statistics. For 2008, the fire brigade recorded 34 adult deaths. 10 children also died in fire-related incidents. Property loss was valued at approximately $7 billion. So, how to prevent this? Well, each person has a role to play. We're looking at what we call community fire safety, making communities safer from fires. To do that, the Jamaica Fire Brigade is going from door to door, making assessments and pointing out potential hazards to householders. What do they look for? The electrical wiring, because our stats again shows us that a huge number of fires are actually caused from either electrical short circuits overloading of circuits are they, are they are electrically based for example if an extension cord is overloaded it may result in a short circuit that's why the experts will tell you that it's not safe to plug appliances in every socket at the same time it's also dangerous to do this as chafing may result in an electrical shortage then there's a question of your loading capacity which must be checked by a certified electrician You'll notice if you plug in all the appliances at once or you try to operate most of the appliances at once, you'll realize that your, your, um, you'll see some short circuiting, you'll see the lights dipping for instance. That is an indication that you're overloading your supply. So you probably now need to speak to the JPS to up your supply. And if the unthinkable should happen, it's always safe to have these installed. We also are going in to dispel the myth of persons that smoke detectors are expensive. You can get three smoke detectors for under $1,000 and they use two AA batteries. All this and more to prevent. If you are 100% sure that you can manage it with your extinguisher that you should have at home, you can tackle the fire. Bear in mind that an ABC extinguisher does not cool the flames, so you have to ensure it's not reignited. If there is any doubt at all in your mind, get out. Get everybody out of the house as quickly as possible. Once you are sure that everybody is out, don't go back in there for anything at all. Next step, call the fire brigade. 
but only for good reason. From January to September 2009, over 15,000 calls were received and only about 12,000 of which were genuine. Almost 1,600 of the calls were malicious or false alarms and 309 were false with good intent. The fire brigade, however, recorded just over 1,400 special service calls. The fire brigade will not delay when we get a fire call. Now this is an assimilation exercise, but you get the picture. The next frame calls for an assessment. For the evacuation of the building, there were persons who did not respond, which um, we want to um, not have that. And for when they got out of the building to assemble, that, that was a little tedious and it was difficult in getting persons to respond. Each youth department will know who their monitor, monitors are and in the event that monitor is absent, what they should do and where their assembly point is and how they should respond. With any simulation um, exercise, there will always be a negative um, note to it, but all in all, the response from the building was excellent. Majority of the persons, 99.9%, um, .9 left the building. They came out on time, they used the designated safety routes and they were assembled where they were briefed. The Jamaica Fire Brigade is taking steps to serve you better. A citizen's charter has been drafted to show the brigade's responsibility to the public and citizens' responsibility to the organization. The brigade's responsibilities include an efficient customer service, respect for your time, fairness, transparency, and accountability. Some of your responsibilities include clarity of requests, providing all the relevant facts needed to address requests, and a reduction in false or misleading calls. We leave you with a few tips to consider. Do not play with matches or lighters. Do not smoke in bed. Place candles in a metal container, far away from curtains, and do not burn rubbish in open spaces. And if you somehow still get inflamed, there is the tried and true. Stop, drop, and roll. The Jamaica Fire Brigade. Saving lives, protecting property. that you can help to reduce the spread of influenza A H1N1 in Jamaica by taking the following precautionary measures. If you are sick, limit your contact with other people as much as possible. Do not go to work. Stay at home until you are fully recovered. Cover your mouth and nose with a mask or tissue when coughing or sneezing. Throw the used tissue in the waste basket. Then, wash your hands with soap and water and do so every time you cough or sneeze. Remember, prevention is always better than cure, so protect yourself and your family from the influenza A H1N1 virus. A message from the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica. Now, crime is like a recurring decimal in our society. What are you doing to stem the problem? Well, one youth group is playing their role, though minimal it might seem. How about a song for peace? Youth need stability and peace to thrive. Unfortunately, some hardly ever get the chance to. And that's the case with many young persons who grew up in the volatile Mountain View area. Now, some of these youths have stepped out to break the cycle of violence. How are they doing that? Through the Mountain View Cultural Group. Group members represent the seven districts in Mountain View, 